Okay, in today's video, we are going to convert the following four linear equations from the standard form to the slope-intercept form. This is the first one we're going to work on, 8x minus 4y equals 20. This equation is already or currently in the standard form. This is the general form of the standard form, ax plus by equals c. And our equation down here, a is 8, b is minus 4, and the constant is 20. Now you'll notice in the slope-intercept form, all of the terms except for the y are on the right-hand side of the equation. y equals mx plus b. That means in order to convert this equation from the standard form to the slope-intercept form, we need to move everything over to the right-hand side of the equation, the right-hand side of the equal sign, except the y. Now, in order to do this, we're going to follow the two pretty simple steps. The first step is this. This is the first thing you do. You always add the opposite of the x term to both sides. This is the x term, 8x. The opposite of 8x is minus 8x. I'm going to add minus 8x to both sides. When I add minus 8x to both sides, I already have a positive 8x on the left-hand side, so the 8x's cancel. I'm left with simply minus 4y. Don't forget your minus signs. Bring down the equal sign. Now I'm going to add minus 8x and 20. Minus 8x plus 20, or 20 plus minus 8x, is not 28x or 12x or something like that. These are not like terms. Minus 8x plus 20 is simply minus 8x plus 20. I wrote the x term first in front of the 20 because, as you can see in the slope-intercept form, it's y equals mx, the x term, and then the number without the x or y. Okay? Now, that's the first step we have completed. We're going to do now the second step. The second step is simply to divide by the number that's in front of the y. The number that's in front of the y is minus 4. So I'm going to divide each of the terms, the whole equation, by minus 4. Minus 4, minus 4, and minus 4. Minus 4y divided by minus 4. The minus 4s cancel. You're left with y. Bring down the equal sign. Minus 8x divided by minus 4 is simply 2x. 8 divided by 4 is 2. A negative number divided by a negative number is a positive number. Keep the x. Now I'm going to divide 20 by minus 4. 20 divided by minus 4 is minus 5. That is the equation in the slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. m is the slope. The slope is 2. b is the y-intercept. The y-intercept for this equation is minus 5. All right. Now we're going to do a couple more. We go a little faster. Same two steps. So add the opposite of the x term. The x term is 3x. The opposite is minus 3x. The 3x cancel. You're left with 7y equals minus 3x minus 14. Step 2. Divide by what's in front of the y. That's a 7. Divide, divide, divide. 7, 7, 7. Minus, no, excuse me. 7y divided by 7 is simply y. The 7s cancel. Now we're going to bring down our equal sign. Now here you can see we have minus 3x divided by 7. Minus 3x divided by 7. I'm going to leave it as a fraction, and I just get minus 3 7 x. And then 14, or minus 14, divided by 7 is minus 2. That is the equation in the slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. b is minus 2. The slope is minus 3 7 Don't forget your negative signs. Next one. We are going to add the opposite of the x term. Well, the x term is x, or 1x, so we're going to add minus x to both sides. When you add minus x to both sides, the x's cancel, you're left with plus 2y equals minus x minus 12. Now we're going to divide by the term that's in front, or the number that's in front of the y. 
That's a 2, a 2, and a 2. The 2's cancel. You're left with y equals. Now this is minus x. There's actually a 1 in front of here. We don't write it down. So minus x divided by 2 is minus 1 half x. And then minus 12 divided by 2 is minus 6. This is the equation in the slope intercept form. y equals mx plus b. b is minus 6. m, the slope, is minus 1 half. One more. Now we have 5x minus y equals 9. We're going to add the opposite of the x term. Once again, the x's cancel. We're left with minus y equals minus 5x plus 9. Now, this may look like it's in the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, but this is, this is not y minus y. It's just y, and here we have minus y. So in order to uh, get rid of the minus, there's actually a minus 1 here in front of the y, so we're going to divide the whole equation by minus 1. Minus 1. Now, minus 1y divided by minus 1 is just y because the minus 1s cancel. Equals minus 5x divided by minus 1 is simply 5x. 5 divided by 1 is 5. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. We bring down the x again minus 9. Okay, so that is the slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. b is minus 9. The slope is 5. Okay, so there you, there you go. We did four different examples. I tried to cover a whole range of possibilities. I hope you found that helpful. Do those steps. Add the opposite of the x. Divide by the number that's in front of the y. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found it helpful, you can do one or all of the following three things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. You can give me a thumbs up for this video, and you can leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much.